Good morning, Joe. Pfizer reporting the first results for its vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11, reporting that uh, in this clinical trial, it saw that immune responses in kids 5 to 11 are robust in terms of the antibody levels and comparable to those of people 16 to 25 in previous studies. They also said the vaccine appeared to be well tolerated with also side effects similar to what they saw in that older age group. And they plan to file for emergency use authorization in kids ages 5 to 11, quote, as soon as possible. Now, this was a study that included about uh, 2,270 kids, and they tested a dose that was one-third the amount that people over the age of 12 get. So it's 10 micrograms uh, given three weeks apart, two doses of that. So that's a third of the adult dose. Uh, so guys, these are some of the results that parents of younger kids have been waiting for. They do anticipate getting results in even younger children uh, sometime before the end of the year, perhaps in about a month. Uh, as for right now, the first results we're seeing in kids down to age five, and they look pretty similar uh, to what we've seen in older people. We don't yet have enough cases for them to report the efficacy, but in terms of the immune response, um, looking pretty good. Guys? Meg, what happens next? I mean, we, we know the timeline. Is this maybe three weeks it will take the FDA? What, are we still thinking Halloween is when kids might actually get vaccinated? And, and, and what does that mean just in terms of logistics, how these new vials will be rolled out and where? Yeah, so there are a few things that have to happen before we get this vaccine out and available to folks. First is that Pfizer has to file with regulators. And so it's preparing to do that. We don't know exactly how long that will take. They had signaled that could probably happen in early October. And then the question from there is, how long will it take regulators to review this? Dr. Scott Gottlieb, former FDA commissioner on the board of Pfizer, has suggested it might take four to six weeks. We have seen some reporting from Reuters citing U.S. health officials saying it could be even shorter, three weeks. And we know that it's it's very urgent right now uh, for kids because the case numbers we are seeing are higher than ever in terms of the proportion they're making up in this pandemic. About 26 percent of overall cases in early September were from kids. That compares to about 16 percent that we've seen for the entire pandemic. Hospitalizations also are at record. So there is an urgent situation here, uh, but it will be a few weeks. We have to see Pfizer file and then we have to see how long the FDA takes to review.